This is the same problem that was demonstrated earlier on a TI-83 or 84 calculator. Since many uh, younger math students use the TI-30XS, I'll also try to show a demonstration of these for certain problems that I think are difficult. Uh, for this one, let's go ahead and enter it just like we did before on the 83 or 84 calculator. We'll start with parentheses, then our 9. Now, these calculators do not have that double E button for scientific notation. Instead, they have this X10 to the N power. So when you click this, it puts it in nice, pretty math type for you. 9 times 10 to the, in this case, ninth power. Now I do have to arrow out of that position, so now I'm down here where I can close off my parentheses, and then we'll put the second parentheses. So I have parentheses 6.25, my x10 to the nth button, my negative 9, I arrow out of this, I close off my parentheses, and now I'm going to square that quantity and I'll hit enter. So that's what that numerator is equivalent to. I'm going to divide it by the denominator, so I will hit divide it by, and I'll put in parentheses 0.675 in parentheses, and we have to square that quantity. Now hit enter, and we should have our final answer, which looks to be uh, point zero 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 seven seven two, but we can write this in scientific notation and say seven point seven two times ten to the one two three four five six seven negative seventh power, and that again is in coulombs. So it's very similar to what we did on the TI eighty threes, except for this. Uh, times 10 to the n power. It's a little bit more explicit for us on the TI-30XS.